Hi, my name is Marley Bird, and in this video I will show you how to make the Warming Hearts Sofa Shawl. This shawl pattern is a free one. I will put a link to it in the video description box right down there below. In the pattern, you will find a full list of the materials you will need to complete this really great shawl. In this video, I will show you how to do the seed stitch, how to work the single heart panel, and we will go over the instructions so that you can complete this shawl without any problems. Once you're ready with your pattern and your materials, let's go ahead and get started. At this point, you have a pattern in front of you that looks a little something like this. You can see the full list of the materials right over here, and it will take two balls of Red Heart Dreamy yarn. It also requires a pair of size six millimeter circular needles in a 32 inch length. Now that's a US size 10 for those of you who need the US numbers. And you need the circular needles because it will be necessary to accommodate the number of stitches as you're working along this shawl. You also need a stitch marker and a yarn needle. Right here, this is the gauge that is listed for the pattern itself. I will go ahead and tell you that gauge isn't super important with this pattern because we're making a wrap. It's not made to actually fit. But if your stitches are bigger than the gauge listed, you will be using more yarn and it's possible you will need another ball of yarn to complete your shawl. Once you have established all the materials you will need, we need to take a look over here and you can see the desired measurement of the shawl listed right up here. And below that, there are some notes and these are important notes that the designer Lisa Gentry has offered us before we jump into the pattern. The shawl is worked back and forth in rows, which means that the circular needles are needed to accommodate the number of stitches we need not to actually work circularly. So that's important to note there. The shawl begins and ends with seed stitch at the lower and the top borders. We'll go over that more here in just a second. It also says that each row of the main section is worked with seed stitch side borders and separators with heart panel patterns worked between the borders and separators as shown in the pattern stitch layout diagram. To better understand how you will be working the stitches on this shawl, let's take a look at the diagram on the third page. As we take a look down here, we can see that we have a total of 101 stitches we will cast onto our needle. After you work your initial seed stitch lower border, you will work into a setup row right here. The setup row consists of five seed stitches, marker, 23 single heart panel stitches, marker, five seed stitches, marker, 35 center panel stitches, marker, seed stitch, marker, single heart, 23 single heart panel stitches, marker, five seed stitch, and then you're at your end. This is what you will continue following along as you create this beautiful shawl. As we continue on and look at number four, it says the heart panel pattern can be worked by following the written instructions or reading the chart. Read right side rows of charts from right to left and wrong side from left to right. We will go over the chart instructions at the very end of this video. So if you're interested in charts, we can take a look at that at the very end of the video. All right, so now that we know the notes, we can see right here, these are the pattern stitches we need to know to work up this shawl pattern. We need to know how to do seed stitch. We also need to know how to do a single heart panel and we need to know how to do a double heart center panel. Now here's the cool thing. If we can do a single heart panel, it will not be too difficult for us to do a double heart panel. We will already know all the stitches we need to know in order to complete a double heart panel. The hardest part with all of this is going to remember what row you're on when you're working with the single heart panel and the double heart panel. 
The good news is you will be on the same row as you are working along. So it'll be row one of the single heart panel, row one of the double heart panel. All right, so what we're going to do is we're gonna go over seed stitch just as a reminder for most of you. And I will give you some tips on how to know where you are in a seed stitch pattern. And then we are going to work up the single heart panel so you know how to work all of these lace stitches, okay? And then last but not least, we will go over the chart and how to read that. All right, so let's go ahead and begin with the seed stitch. I'm using a basic worsted weight smooth yarn for the demonstration today, and I have cast on a total of 23 stitches. We begin with the seed stitch pattern, and the pattern is this. We will knit one stitch, and then purl one stitch, and continue that all the way until the last stitch of the row where we will do a knit one. As I'm working along this row, you will notice that I am knitting the purls, and here's a knit stitch, and I am purling those knits. Here's a purl stitch, and I'm knitting it. Here's a knit stitch, and I'm purling it. You will just repeat this action of knitting your purls and purling your knits until you have worked a total of six rows of the seed stitch. It's at that point that you will begin to set up your panel sections for the shawl, okay? I will do this one more time as you turn your work. I'm looking at a purl bump, which means I'm looking at a purl, so I would knit the purl. I'm looking at a knit stitch, so I would purl the knit, okay? And I just do this back and forth. Once you have finished the six rows of seed stitch, you will then work the setup row, which will begin to combine the seed stitch and the heart panels for your shawl. Let's take a look at the pattern. And you can see right here, it says row one, setup row. Okay, and this is a right side row. You begin with a knit one, purl one, twice, and then you knit one. And it tells you it's for the seed stitch side border. So that's this side border right here, okay? Then it says you're going to place a marker. Then you will work row one of the single heart panel. All right, so that again is over here, single heart panel, row one. So you would work that whole row. Then we come back, it says then you will place a marker. Then you will do a knit one, purl one twice, and then knit one. And that says for seed stitch separator and you will place a marker. So that's for this section right here. And then we've placed a marker. Then we will go back and we will, we'll, we will work <laughs> row one of the double heart center panel. So right there. So we would come back to this page, we would go up here to row one, and we would work that entire row for the double heart center panel. We would place a marker do a knit one, purl one twice, and then a knit one. For this seed stitch section, place a marker. We would do row one of the single heart panel right here. Then we would place a marker and we would finish off with our knit one, purl one twice, and end with a knit one. Can you see how that is how this is gonna set up? So what you need to know right now is how to work those heart panels. Once we know one, the single, we can do the double. So I'm gonna continue on my little swatch here with the single heart panel. And as you continue on with your shawl, all you need to do is place those markers, get your shawl set up just as we discussed at the beginning, and you would continue on working the rows as they're written down in the pattern. Let's take a look at the single heart panel so you can learn how to do those stitches. We have our seed stitch complete, and I'm ready to begin row one of the single heart panel. So this is going to be, if you were working the single heart panel all by itself, we would start off with a knit nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we will knit two together. So I'll take the next two stitches on my left hand needle and I will knit them together. So I will knit through both of them at the same time 
together. That gives me a right decrease, okay? So this decrease here is gonna lean towards the right. <coughs> now we will yarn over our right hand needle and we will knit one stitch. We will yarn over our right hand needle and we will do an SSK. We will slip a stitch as if to knit, slip a stitch as if to knit, take our left hand needle, put it into the front leg of those two stitches, make sure your yarn over stays in place. Once your left needle is in the front leg of those two stitches, knit them together. That decrease makes this stitch lean to the left, okay? Now I finish off with a knit nine. This is the start of our heart. Okay, I will go ahead and turn my work. We're gonna continue on with row two of the single heart panel, which is just purling because the background of the single heart panel is stockinette. So you will just purl all of the stitches across. You won't do anything different there. When you come to those yarn overs, you're gonna treat them just as if they're any other stitch. So it looks like just a piece of yarn resting on your needle and that's what it is. You are just going to go into it just as if you were purling and you will purl it. As we turn our work and continue on with row three of the single heart panel, you can see we're starting to get this separation from the seed stitch and it's starting to go into stockinette. For row three, we begin with a knit eight. We will do a knit two together. Yarn over, knit three, yarn over, SSK, and then we will finish off with a knit eight. No new stitches on that row, they're just in different places. As we turn our work, we're looking at a wrong side row. This is our row four and we will purl across all of our panel stitches. Turn my work, I'm beginning row five of the single heart panel. Once again, at this point, you should be able to take a look and you'll start to see those holes where the yarn overs were placed and that is the bottom of the heart and you have stockinette on either side of it. As you're working on the actual shawl, you will then also have seed stitch on either side of this panel. And we will begin row five. No new stitches on this row, just in different places. So we begin with a knit seven. Two, four, six, seven. And then we do a knit two together. Yarn over, knit five. Yarn over, SSK. And then you will knit to the end, which is seven stitches. We will turn our work. This is a wrong side row. Once again, we will purl all of our stitches. Turn my work. We're doing row seven. There are no new stitches here, just in a different place. 
We start off with a knit six, then we do a knit two together. I want you to notice something. As you're doing these knit two togethers at this point, you're starting to see a nice line of stitches. If your knit two together is in the wrong place, you will not get that line of stitches. So as you're working along, don't forget to read your knitting to make sure that your stitches are lining up correctly. Once you do your knit two together, you then will yarn over. You will knit seven. You will yarn over. And just like when we did the knit two together, you have a line of SSKs happening here. So you will slip one as if to knit, slip one as if to knit, put the left hand needle on the front leg of those two stitches and knit them together. So you have your SSK and then you will knit six stitches to the end. Turn your work, it's a wrong side row, so we will be purling. So we begin with a, a knit five, knit two together, Hey, this is Marley here. I do want to make a point that it is on row nine when you're doing the double heart center panel that we introduce the center double decrease. I will show you how to do that decrease here later in the video, but I did want to point out that it is on row nine that that stitch is used in the center panel. turn your work, row 10 is a wrong side row, you're going to purl all the stitches. Row 11, we turn our work, and it gets a little bit interesting here because we're gonna introduce some more stitches here in the center, okay? So we're gonna start some more shaping happening here. So we begin with knit six, Notice this knit six puts us right on top of our knit two togethers that we previously did. Okay, so we knit six. Now we yarn over. We're going to knit two together. Knit three. Yarn over. Knit one. Yarn over. Knit three. Now we'll do an SSK. Again, it's a different placement. So we slip as if to knit, slip as if to knit, and then stick our left hand needle into the front of those two stitches, knit them together, okay? Yarn over and knit six to the end. So we didn't introduce any new stitches, but we did change the placement of our stitches and we abandon the line of decreases that we were already establishing before, okay? So I turn my work, I'm on row 12. Again, it's a wrong side row. I'm simply going to purl my stitches. Turn my work, I'm on row 13 and we're going to introduce a new stitch at this point to complete this heart. So we are going to begin here with a knit seven. One. We will yarn over and now we will do a center treble decrease. So the next three stitches, I'm gonna go into them as if I was going to knit all three of them together. Okay, so just like as if I'm going to knit, I'm going to slip them off of my left hand needle. Okay, so I went into three stitches off my left hand needle and I slipped them off. So now they're on my right hand needle. Now I will knit one stitch on my left hand needle. Now I'm gonna take my left hand needle and I'm gonna come over here. Notice I'm pulling the fabric down so I can get to the front leg of those three stitches that I slipped over. 
And just like if I were to bind it off, I'm gonna pass those three stitches all over that one stitch all at the same time. So I'm gonna pass them all over that one stitch all at the same time. See how that leaves one center stitch right there? And we have decreased all of those stitches. So we've gotten rid of three stitches there, okay? So that is the center treble decrease. Now we have to yarn over. Remember, we still have a yarn over before that one. We did our center treble decrease. We yarn over, we knit three. One, two, three. Yarn over, and we have to do the center treble decrease again. So we have these three stitches. We're gonna go into all three of them at the same time as if it was a knit three together. And so we're going into them as if to knit, and we're slipping them off. Now we knit the next stitch on the left-hand needle. I like to pull down my fabric here so I can get my left-hand needle into the front of those three stitches we slipped. And now, just like if it were a bind off, I'm gonna have them jump up and over that stitch I just knit and off, okay? So the stitch I just knit is the only one left on my right-hand needle, and I have this nice line right there in the center, okay? I need to yarn over, and now I will knit seven to the end of this row. That's row 13. I turn my work, row 14 is a wrong side row, it's a purl row, so I will continue on and just purl all of these stitches. At the end of row 14, I can turn my work and I can begin to see the single heart panel and I see it taking shape. Can you see that? Now here's the cool thing. Those center treble decreases that really completed the heart as it goes into action here, right? And then this center bit here where the heart comes down like it's the, the tip of the heart, that's actually the start of the next heart, okay? So as we continue on, the repeat here is actually row five through 14. So instead of going back to row one and beginning the row repeat, you would jump back to row five. So at this point in the pattern, we would be continuing on and jumping back to row five. And that's also true for the double heart panel as well. So let's go ahead. I want to show you what it would look like if you finished the row 14 and you've turned your work and you're ready to begin row five. You would jump in with a knit seven. We would knit two together, yarn over, knit five, yarn over, do an SSK, and then we would knit seven. Okay, so that's how you would begin to carry on. So we just finished a row five. We then would turn our work, which means we are on a row six, which is also a wrong side row. So we would just purl across all of these stitches. You are repeating rows five through 14 for the continuation of the shawl with those seed stitch panels separating the heart panels. It's pretty easy stuff. If you want a little help on how to keep track of what row you're on and what seed stitch row you're on, if you can't really read your seed stitches very well, the best thing you could do is essentially write out the entire pattern yourself 
row for row. I like to use some sort of a spreadsheet sort of format and I will take rows 1 through 14, write out the entire pattern from seed stitch to panel to seed stitch to panel to seed stitch to panel to seed stitch and then I would do that for rows 1 through 14 and then I would repeat rows 5 through 14, 5 through 14, 5 through 14 until you get to the end when it goes back to just plain seed stitch. That's what I like to do. That's actually something that I will usually do for beginner uh, knitters so that they can keep track of what rows they were on um, or rows they are on as they're working along. And it's something that you can do for yourself as well. But overall, by learning the seed stitch down here at the start and then the single heart panel, you know almost all the stitches you need to know to create this shawl. The only other stitch you need to know is, this, is the center double decrease. It's a very easy stitch. I'm just going to show you right here on these stitches here just so that you can see how to do the center double decrease. It's a very simple stitch. Um, let me go ahead and just knit over a couple. Okay, So you would get to where it's time to do your center double decrease. You would go into two stitches as if to knit, as if you were doing to do a knit two together, and you would slip those off, just like when you did the centered treble decrease. You knit one stitch, and then you pass those two stitches up and over that one stitch. That's called a center double decrease. So you decrease two stitches instead of when we were over here and did the center treble decrease, we decreased three stitches all at once. Okay, so that's the only other stitch you need to know to create this shawl. Knowing the center double decrease means you now know all of the stitches you need to know to create this shawl. It's really that simple. Okay, all you will do now is follow along with the instructions and working each panel row for row as it coincides with the single heart panel and the double heart panel and the seed stitch, okay? The instructions indicate that you will have a total of 29 hearts in each panel. Could you create more hearts if you wanted to? Absolutely, just know that will require more yarn. You finish the shawl after a row six, then you will jump back in to the seed stitch pattern. Right here, I have already finished on a row six and I did my six rows of seed stitch just like you're supposed to do to finish the top border, that way it matches the bottom border. And at this point, you need to bind off in pattern. And because some of you might not know what that means, it's really quite simple. The pattern stitch here is seed stitch, so we will continue on with the seed stitch pattern. So we will knit one and then purl one, and then we will have that back stitch jump up and over the front stitch just like a normal bind off. This next stitch is a purl, so or it is a purl on my needle, so I will knit it. Have the back stitch jump up and over the front stitch. I'm looking at a knit stitch, that means I have to purl it have the back stitch jump up and over the front stitch. Can you see how this works? So I'm keeping the seed stitch pattern, but I'm still binding off the stitches as I work down my row. I'm looking at a purl, so I wanna knit it, and I continue on. This just allows your shawl to lay as nice as possible at the start and at the finish. When you bind off that last stitch, you will simply cut your yarn, give that a pull, and then using your bent tip tapestry needle, go ahead and weave in your tails, both at the beginning, at the end, and anywhere else in the center where you had to join yarn. And that's how your hearts will look. Okay, now you'll notice here on my little swatch, my stockinette portion, they are curling in. But on your shawl, because you have the seed stitch along the edges, your shawl will not curl in. But there you go. Okay, you know how to create the stitches. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the chart in case you do want to follow along with the chart instructions. Whenever you're following along with charts like these and you're working on something that is flat, you will read the chart from right to left and then from left to right. 
Conveniently, these numbers on the outside of the chart let you know what row you are on and they are placed on the side you're supposed to start reading the chart from. Pretty convenient, right? So right here on row one, we have these blank squares and we can see right here in the key, that means they are knits on the right side and they are pearls on the wrong side. So on row one, we will knit across all of these stitches until we get to this stitch here. And we can see that one line there is a knit two together. And one way that I remember that is I think of how I put my, my right hand needle into the stitch. So if my stitches are here on my needle, I think of my right hand needle, I have to go into them and go like this to knit them together and see how my right hand needle looks just like that slant going that way. That's how I remember, oh, that slant means I have to do a knit two together. Then you will do a yarn over, that's what that circle is, knit one yarn over, and then that one is an SSK. So think about this, you slip one as if to knit, you slip one as if to knit, take your left hand needle and put it in, which direction is my right hand needle facing? It's facing left, just like the slant. So that's how I remember that one, pretty easy stuff. So SSK, and then I knit all the way to the end. Conveniently for this pattern, all of these even rows are just pearls. So going back, even though they are just plain squares, remember those are wrong side rows, and on the wrong side, those squares mean they are pearls. Pretty easy, okay? So as you continue on, I wish my paper wasn't moving so much. As you continue on, you get to row three, you knit across these stitches, we have a knit two together, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, SSK, knit across, so on and so forth, right? We know what all of those stitches mean. It's up here when we get to row 11 when things get a little bit interesting. The first thing I wanna note is that we have these extra boxes sticking out here on the outside. And that's because we have increased two stitches on this row. Look at this, we have a yarn over and a decrease. So that keeps our stitch count the same. But then we have a yarn over and a yarn over with no decrease. So we've just increased two stitches. Now we have a decrease, so that's an SSK and a yarn over, so those cancel out each other. So on row 11, we have actually increased two stitches by those two yarn overs. On row 12, when we work our way back, because we're just purling, we still have those two extra stitches. We get rid of those two extra stitches when we get to row 13 because we knit across until we get to this stitch here, we do a yarn over. This is our center treble decrease and that's where we decrease and we are getting rid of three stitches. So we're getting rid of these two yarn overs and this one. Then we have our knits and then we have yarn over, well I'll say, so center double decrease, yarn over, knit, yarn over, center double decrease, yarn over. Again, this gets rid of three stitches, it gets rid of that yarn over, that yarn over, and that yarn over. So you're back to the original stitch count, which gives you exactly 23 stitches right there. Can you see how that works up? Same thing when you're looking at the double heart center panel. You can see as you're working along on row 11, we have four extra stitches, okay, because there are two hearts. So we have one, two, three, four, yarn over, yarn over, with no decrease, four extra stitches. But then on row 13, we have extra center treble decreases to get rid of those stitches, all right? It's pretty easy stuff. I do wanna point out that in row nine, of the um, double center heart, right here, that is where the center double decrease is introduced, okay? So up here, these are the center trebles, right here is the center double. So that's on row nine of the double heart center panel. And there you have it. You know how to read the pattern, how to do seed stitch, how to set up that initial row for the shawl, and you learned all the stitches you need to know to create the single heart panel and the double heart center panel. You also learned how to bind off in pattern. 
Now, if you do make this shawl, please share with us on social media. We would love to see your finished shawls and smash your like button for sure. To make sure we see your pattern, use hashtag Marley Bird or hashtag Yarnspirations. If you haven't yet, make sure you have hit subscribe to this channel and clicked that like button. I'm Marley Bird and I will catch you next time. Bye.